Dr. Dempsey, have you seen that any of the herbal meds for tick-borne diseases tend to trigger a mast cell reaction, especially cryptolepis, skullcap, biocidin, cinnamon clove oregano oil, cita acuta, hutunia, and knotweed? So what I would say is that um, when there's a trigger from these herbs, it could be one of several different processes. One is uh, an excipient issue. So some of these herbs are found in tinctures. They can be in alcohol. They uh, So some people react to the alcohol. So it's not the herb, but the alcohol. Sometimes they're found in like a glycerite form, but they still are extracted in alcohol. There are several companies that are starting to make capsules with them, with these herbs, but the capsules could contain methyl cellulose. Part of me just wonders how much of it is the excipients that's causing the reaction. Now, the second issue is that, sure, it's possible that those individual herbs are themselves causing a mast cell reaction. I just think that's a little bit less common. And then the other major issue is this, this sort of realm of when you kill uh, infections, you can have, depending on the infection, you can have something called a Herxheimer or Jerish Herxheimer reaction or Herxing, uh, which is like the verb that we made we made it into. So Herxheimer reaction is, is essentially a die-off reaction. So as you use these herbs, and some of them are truly very strongly antimicrobial, they can kill. As they're killing, particularly like an infection like Lyme disease, you can get like tremendous toxin release from these uh, infections and, and from the cells of those infections and the body that has to deal with those toxins. And so that can set off mast cells and set off a cytokine response. And so very often when we're trying to treat, we're also balancing it with how to manage these Herxing reactions, Herxheimer reactions, detox reactions, die-off reactions, kind of we use those interchangeably. And then how to manage the mast cells while you're trying to use those things. There are definitely going to be people who are not going to tolerate herbs. I, I definitely have patients who uh, have to, you know, actually do better with the antibiotics or other treatments. And some patients, you know, herbs are going to be the, you know, the, the perfect solution for that.